Hey guys, it's Ted from Ted Lincoln's Fishing Life doing a little impromptu unboxing. Just a couple things. One of them was a total surprise uh, sent to me by a company, I guess kind of for free to try out. Um, but yeah, first things first, I'm gonna throw myself a drink. All my good glasses are dirty. At least I got some whiskey. Um, yeah, so one of these is a package I ordered and they just came in the same day, so I figured I'd unbox them together for you guys. I don't do a lot of unboxings, um, as you know, if you watch my channel, but I do for swim baits, especially if I get more than one at a time or all at once, I mean. So cheers, thanks for checking out the channel. Here's uh, the one I bought of Amazon. It was just on sale. I had just lost a couple swim baits, which happens when you uh, actually fish them. And I couldn't afford another bluegill at the moment uh, when I ordered this. I'm about to order one, hopefully soon, after I lost one. But I needed a bluegate, uh, I needed a bluegill size, uh, like kind of glide bait, swim bait, for shape. So I got myself a Gantrell. Um, never really fished one. I just also ordered the Gantrell Junior. They were both on sale. I found them for like 20 something bucks each, which is pretty good. Um, there's been a lot already said about this, but I'm excited to try it. I might actually try it in just a little bit. I'm about to pack up the van and go fishing for a dog. But yeah, what color is this? This is, Let's say it has it. It was like a ghost gill color, it does say. And that's it. Ghost gill in the Gantrell. It's stuck to this piece of foam. I'm mostly taking it out so I can see it too. There you go, look at that thing. It's a three piece but it can be swam like a glide or kind of quickly. Because of these feathered trebles, um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna leave those on. Have any of you taken them off? Do you find leaving them on, taking them off helps? I don't know, let me know, I'm curious. But so yeah, this is the one I knew I was getting. other one is directly from G-Rat Baits. And if you watch my channel, you know I'm a big fan of their stuff. And I guess they've realized I'm a big fan of their stuff because they basically said, we want to send you a few things. Uh, and I guess these are stuff they had laying around the shop. So I'm excited to see what's in here. I know there's a rat in there because that was what started the conversation, but let's see. boxes it's supposed to open up kind of like a shoe box mm, yeah whatever I don't think that's right but that's why you have a sharp knife you can just cut through the cardboard right I was gonna do this as a part of one of my recap videos, but I decided I wanted to fish this stuff like in a couple hours, so I had to open the box now. Oh, awesome. Got a couple. Oh, wow. Well. So I got a Walk Willie, which I've been actually wanting in black. Um, I was looking at the baby bass, but I've been literally had this in my tackle warehouse cart the other day, but then I ended up breaking two of my uh, swim bait rods. So I had to order rods instead of a bait. So I had to take this off my list. I guess uh, they heard about that and felt sorry for me. They actually 
Send me one of these and then one, two, three different rats. Wow. Just some notes on using a zoom as a tail. So what do we got here? We got the Mighty Mouse in mouse color and in black. I'll open these up for you guys. But also got the rat. I'm assuming this was the bat bait that got them started. I mean, they are G-Rat. But this is the biggest rat I own by far. I'm gonna catch something on the, this one day. They threw in a couple stickers. It's awesome. Um, a shirt for now, my ex-girlfriend. Um, I'll find some other lady to wear this for me on the boat. Yeah, Ashley and I broke up. No hard feelings. Uh, she moved away anyway. She's in Wisconsin. You guys are lucky if you get her up there. Awesome girl. Cheers. I guess we'll start with the big rat since it's G-Rat, right? And this is no joke. This is a big bait. If you've been watching my videos, you've seen I've been catching some stuff on the vole. And I guess they want to, they want to be outdone. This is the size of bait that I would love to own, but it's when it, you know, being an artist, I don't always have that much money. And it's always that bait I take out of my cart if I have to choose, just because I'm going to throw it like just a few times. Well, until I proves itself, I might end up throwing this all the time, who knows. I have another one of these Mighty Mouse, but it needs a hook and a tail, so I haven't fished it yet. Um, here's one in black. I might actually put a bigger hook on there, but I guess, I mean, it's the hook they come with comes with an ST36. It's a pretty good hook. All black. That's going to be a new, good, awesome nighttime bait. And then we got more of a field mouth color. Brown and white with a black tail. This is the one I've actually almost ordered a couple times myself. But now I have one. Now I have two. But I have one in this color. But this is the bait I've been eyeballing forever. It's their big walking bait. And my buddy Justin had this on the boat the other day, uh, same day, or the day after he broke his PB with me. And it was getting smashed. And I have literally almost bought this thing a dozen times. Huh? There he is. Yes, finally got it. I, I saw. I saw him coming out of the water for it. I think I got that on video. That's a good one. That's how you break rods, I just learned. But it's a $30 top water, and it's a really big one. But I'm super excited. I'm actually gonna throw this this morning. That's badass. So it's, after watching it work, um, it's almost like a gliding walking bait. So. It doesn't really want to walk a dog like a spook would. Like it's not sitting in the water like this, waiting to kind of went like that. Or let me do it, went like that. So you just have to work the reel a little bit more, I think. But that's a pretty black too. It's like a silvery black. Silent, yeah. Awesome. So yeah, my little unboxing. Um, thank you for checking it out. I'm Ted from Ted Ligon's Fishing Life. I'm out.